Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Mark Prindle's Boogie Down Train. Thanks for joining us on the Boogie Down Train. Sorry I wasn't here last week. I was, of course, busy killing Osama Bin Laden. But now I'm back on the Boogie Down Train. And today on the Boogie Down Train, we're going to listen to the Slug Lords. This is from 1983, album called Trails of Slime here on the Boogie Down Train. This is a band formed by uh, one of the guys in Bad Posture. Uh, one of the, 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 the bands reviewed on the Mark Prindle Boogie Down Train website at uh, markprindlesboogiedowntrain.com backslash boogie down train uh, tilde boogie down train dot htm backslash boogie down train and uh, this is from 1983 it's just an EP it's called Trails of Slime here on the boogie down train they were a punk rock band but with a twist a little twist okay so this first song is kind of normal punk rock on the boogie down train but then they get a little weird whoa whoa boogie down train The song is called FTW, which used to mean fuck the world. It, of course, now means for the win, thanks to the internet. On the boogie down train. This song's kind of neat, this next one. This is the first one that gives you a, an inkling that this band ain't normal punk rock. This song is called uh, Day to Day Living, and check out the crazy thing they do. <laughs> See, isn't that quirky and weird? On the boogie down train? Yeah, I think so. Let's see, then we got uh, Signal 30. It's got a piano in it. Come on, piano. The singer kind of sounds like the guy in uh, Fearless Iranians from Hell, but I don't think it is. Then you got. Uh, Revenge of the Zombie Slug Lords, which, you know, you're sitting here going in this punk rock song, right? Like this. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of the song, you hit this. On the boogie down train. Whoa, 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 something's happening to my arms. And then this one has a lot of stops. It's actually, you play it at 45 RPM, because it's just like an EP or what, whatevs. It has 10 songs though, and they're all pretty neat, as you can hear. San Francisco had some interesting bands, like the Dead Kennedys. I don't know if you've heard them, the Dead K Kennedys. And I'm already bored with that. Normal punk rock fans don't act that way. But the slug lords do. Slug. 
I mean, I, I heard it years ago, but, I, but anyway, I think the point is clear here on the Boogie Down Train, that if you're looking for really innovative, old, hardcore with a twist, the record you want is Brave New World by the Steve Miller Band. It features Space Cowboy, uh, But you know who does? America's favorite Henry the Dog. Hi, Henry the Dog. Oh, this is my new apartment, by the way. I hope you like it, because you've earned it. Here's uh, my uh, here's my records. All right, and there's uh, some 45s up there. Here's some pictures. There are my DVDs. Some a few books. Over here is a stereo. There's a couch. There's a computer and a chair. Here's the bedroom. Here there. Where all the action goes on. Oh no. Uh, there's a big bed. There's my television. And uh, let's see. Go back in here and there's a little bathroom with a toilet. Henry drinks out of that. That's why his food dish is right next to it because he gets his water out of the toilet. And there's uh, where I, uh, where Norman Bates splashes me every once in a while. And then here's the little closet. Here's the kitchen. And here are my CDs. I had to take all my CDs out of the glass cases, or the plastic cases rather, and put them in these skinny little um, sleeves. So I don't have any glass cases anymore because I had to, when I moved, I had to somehow cram them all in to this small apartment. As you can see, these are both full of CDs, all crammed in very small. There's my Bo Brummel's box set. Hello Nasty, there's some Frank Black. Uh, here's a picture of Henry. Uh, here's Henry's den, right there. Uh, that's where he goes sometimes. There's the refrigerator with some Neo Hamburger magnets. Here's the stove, which I guarantee you will never be used. Here's the funny uh, kitchen drawer where I pulled it and it just broke. The thing just broke off, so at some point I gotta get that fixed. There's the vacuum cleaner. There's Henry the dog. Hi Henry, you're a good boy. And then you go back in here, and this is where I live. It's a small apartment, but I'm only one person and a dog, so I don't need that much. All I need are the slug lords. <laughs> 